A decade in development, power production in Grand Passage has begun with tidal energy officially flowing onto Nova Scotia's power grid. The Weather Network was invited out to tour the floating platform to get a first-hand look at the next-gen technology just off Westport, Nova Scotia. Well, it's pretty incredible to be out here and hear that hum of the platforms for myself. Now it's time to get a closer look. This in-stream system is well advanced from previous iterations that attempted to harness the power of the world's highest tides in the Bay of Fundy, with large structures lowered to the seabed. The difference is that we can get to everything. We're on it here now, we're, we're, we're here, we can maintain it just like a ship, we can get to things, we can fix things, and we don't need to go and perform a really expensive operation to pull it off the bottom of the seabed to do that. Each of the six turbines on this platform is rated for 70 kilowatts, but Heyman says they will get scaled up with time and get larger. Now when all six turbines are spinning at full capacity, they're producing 420 kilowatts of power. The average Nova Scotian home needs one kilowatt. During a full moon, you have your fastest flows, and that's when you can generate the most energy. If a nor'easter or hurricane is imminent, the turbines can be raised out of the water with the platform secured. This is a demonstration, but since it works, Sustainable Marine is actually getting paid for the power they generate, and that's 50 cents a kilowatt hour, an incentive for others to invest. As we navigate our way through climate change, this type of innovation is fundamental uh, to be supported by the, the provincial government. For the next generation of Nova Scotians and Canadians, uh, we're standing literally on the future of clean energy production. When you look at the current weather, a bit overcast, not a great day to produce solar energy. It's not too windy either, but the tides are always predictable. And that's what makes this form of sustainable energy different. We're going to start deploying at a site called Force, uh, which is in the Minus Passage. Uh, and so up there, uh, the tides are, are even twice as strong almost as they are here. Um, so here at Grand Passage, this is our test site, if you like, and it's a fairly moderate resource, whereas Force, they call the Everest of tidal energy. With tides of up to 10 knots, the forces and loads are challenging, but the company plans to continue pressing forward. What we know is that this is an ultra low impact form of energy generation. Um, it's much better than the status quo, um, than say burning coal for the environment. Um, and that's why we're here doing it. They're also monitoring for any impacts on marine wildlife. With hundreds of hours of video footage of the turbines reviewed so far, they haven't seen any adverse interactions with fish and wildlife. 